Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Light. I'm here today to look into the properties of water and how they behave around electricity. We're going to be using this extension lead that I've set up to see the effect that it has on water when water is placed in the presence of a voltage field. Um, one of the things that I want to show you is that this extension lead has no current flowing on it. We are actually plugged into the wall and this is the other end. So the only thing that's on this extension lead right now is voltage. And we're going to use a multimeter to take a reading of our water over here and then we're going to move our cup of water into here and take another voltage reading and you're going to be quite surprised at the difference. So. First of all, just to show you that the voltmeter is accurate, we're reading free air right now, so that's why we've got a very low reading on the meter. If we ground it over here, it goes to zero. So our meter is reading accurately. So let's see what the water is doing. So we put our probe in, and it's jumped up by about 100 millivolts. So we're reading 280 millivolts. Now the really interesting thing is when you place the water near electric cables, and remember there's no current in these cables, it's just voltage, 60 hertz AC voltage, and place the probe in, this is the reading. So the electricity is coupling into the cup of water to put almost 6 volts of electrical voltage onto it. And this, the reason why I've been doing this is I have plastic plumbing in my house. I've noticed that in certain parts of the house that there's a voltage on the water and at its highest in my house it's 1.5 volts and I was trying to understand where this voltage was coming from so I eventually figured out that it's the plastic plumbing running along electric cables and the electric cables are inducing voltages into the water which is coming out of the faucet and this is called stray voltage and it's a very well understood effect in the dairy industry and it actually kills cows so I'm a little bit concerned that my house has this effect on it because it's a, in the dairy industry it, it causes havoc in the herds of cows and it causes uh, the cow's behavior to change and the milk production to go down. And they, they start having random deaths. So I've got some work to do with uh, trying to understand this problem further. But I just thought I would share that with you that any body of, electri any body of water around electricity, uh, the electricity will couple into the water and produce voltage onto it. And the same effect happens in the human body. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the best of health. Thank you.